We now know authorities are following leads near Allegheny County, New York. News 4 Buffalo saying its reporter there has been asked to leave because state police call it a hot spot. Radio traffic is indicating that police are moving large numbers of officers right into that area. Officers have been asked to maintain radio silence as they search for these two convicted murderers who escaped from a maximum security prison 14 days ago. Our Sarah Gannam is on the ground on the story. What are you hearing, Sarah? Good afternoon, Poppy. Yeah, we know that state police are actively searching an area in Friendship, New York, which is very close to the Pennsylvania border in New York in Allegheny County. I just talked to a man who's the caretaker of a cemetery very close by where state police are searching. He told me he's seen cars, state police trooper cars go up and down the hill where the cemetery is. He sees helicopters flying overhead. He says he's not far from a freeway where, where they are doing car searches and checkpoints, not far from a creek and not far from railroad tracks. And and that's important, Poppy, because mm -hmm. we know that there were uh, reports of unconfirmed sightings last week along railroad tracks in different border towns in a neighboring county near the border with Pennsylvania in New York. We know the police were working on tracking down those leads uh, last night and this morning. And then this afternoon, we got word that there was a sighting, a possible sighting in Friendship uh, New York, uh, in Allegheny County, New York. State police actively now searching that area uh, for these two escaped convicts. They have been missing now. This is the beginning of week three, Poppy. Right. Sarah, just to be clear here, this sighting, potential sighting, I should say, of these two convicts near or in Friendship, New York, is that separate from the sighting that came into the authorities on Tuesday? It is separate, but it's not far away, Poppy. It's only about 30 miles west of where those two sightings were. Now, remember, those first two sightings in Steuben County, New York, uh, a neighboring county, those actually happened last weekend on Saturday and Sunday, but weren't reported to state police until Tuesday of this week. And police mm -hmm. didn't find surveillance video that could possibly confirm or deny that until Friday. Then as that video uh, began, as that news began to be made public and they asked, they asked residents near the border to be on the lookout. That's when we got word today that there was another possible sighting when state police uh, converged, began to search, began grid searches uh, where they canvassed specific areas. And now what we're hearing from witnesses, uh, a witness on the ground that there's a helicopter overhead. It's been hovering, he said, for about an hour. Several state police cars checkpoints. Again, this is near railroad tracks, near a creek and near a freeway, all, all uh, ways that um, if you are running from someone, you might things that you might follow to get out of town right. to a new place. Yeah, very yeah good this point. person, Poppy, just just to tell you, uh, told me he said, I'm very scared. He's 80 years old. He's a caretaker mm -hmm. of a of a cemetery that's right nearby. He said, I'm sitting here with a rifle. And he said, I think they're really serious that they've seen somebody. I just hope they catch them. Otherwise, it'll make for a long night. Poppy. Yeah. And of course, everyone in that area being told if you see them, you think you see them, do not approach them. They're uh, very, very dangerous people. Call the authorities right away.